Hey there, my name's Nader Nader Najad. I am the director of Nader Najad Media. And today's video, the only way you should be doing SEO in 2025. This video is gonna blow your mind. It's gonna make things very simple for you. And with 10 years of SEO and reverse SEO experience, I guarantee these are gonna be the best tips you've ever heard. First of all, before we start, the best tool that I recommend is SEMrush. SEMrush has the most data points. We're talking more than Moz. It is the best way to gauge your website's visibility, but also it's gonna be the number one tool I use to find and verify long tail keywords. Long tail keywords, just longer keywords. Instead of dogs, what about training tips for dogs? It's easier to rank for those. My first tip for you is to find and isolate all the highly relevant long tail keywords for your business. That means if you are an accountant, let's say, and you want to find lawyers to do their accounting for them, instead of doing accountants in Chicago, you would do accountants for lawyers in the US or accountants for lawyers in Chicago or accountants for corporate lawyers in Chicago. Now these keywords aren't going to get as many visitors, but that's not what we're going for. We're going for ranking. We want to rank for as many long tail keywords as possible. SEMrush reports that the difficulty is only 12%. We can guarantee that we will definitely rank for that keyword. And that of those 100 monthly visitors, we're going to get maybe 30 or 40 of them. Now here's the thing. Those 30 or 40 are so qualified. They're just about ready to buy. And this, is the SEO game in 2025. So how would I approach ranking for dozens, if not hundreds of long tail keywords? It first starts with a list. I would simply open a spreadsheet. I would do my research inside of SEMrush, or I would use another tool if you are using another tool. And I would isolate perhaps 100 keywords. And for the year, I will keep hammering those keywords to create the most prolific amount of content. So we're talking about volume for that keyword. The most in-depth and thoroughly researched pieces of content for those long tail keywords. And I will create multimedia around it because what's important for ranking isn't just the length of the articles and the words, it's also how readable is it? How long do people stay on the page? So I will try to pioneer the best thought leadership, the best content on those long tail keywords and treat them as if they were super competitive. I'm not just gonna willy nilly hit them all and move on, I won't rank for anything. I will try really hard to rank for those long tail keywords. As I do, I'm going to start getting more trust within certain topics on my website. And I'll also focus very heavily on organic social. So my favorite thing to do, here's a process. I'll make a YouTube video about it first because I love explaining things over video. The next thing I'll do is I'll write the blog post and embed the video. Then I'll take that fully formed post of 1000 words plus in most instances. And I will lay images, inline images that are alt tagged and captioned correctly, original shots in that article. I'll optimize for keywords. I'll use a plugin like Yoast in WordPress. And then I'll take that and I'll publish them to socials. After that, I'll move on to the next article. And I'll do this at a very quick pace. I might use AI to structure, but then I'll package that content, publish it on socials, and I'll rinse and repeat. And so it all starts for me with videos. You'll see on this channel, 700 videos. On the business channel, 180 videos. It always starts with a video. For you, it might start with writing. It might start with a podcast. It might start with anything. But I recommend, even if it's SEO, to start with your preferred medium because it's much easier to write around the delivered information later on. What I love about video is I can pull a transcript of the entire video and then publish it on the site and it will still rank as organic content. I'll just have to add headlines, perhaps an FAQ section in the bottom, maybe some hyperlinks outbound links, no follow links, really structuring that article. But this, my friends, is a trick at 2025 to rank your business. Go for those extremely, extremely specific topics, hit as many as possible, and then work your way up to more advanced competitive keywords in a reverse pyramid type of style. 